No, but he was literally just getting to the other side. That's fresh too, man. <laughs> Crazy to see everything from up here. I'll run around the side. Ah, Hector! And Cameron is at the other corner. So from me, right here, to Cameron. I mean, I've been searching under all the cabinets, behind the tanks. I think someone stole this fish out of my fish room. Can you see me? I can't see you. Yeah. Should you go over here in the shade? Yeah. What is going on, crows? Welcome back to another video. Today, we're here at the new house. You're wondering why I got a measuring tape. That's because uh, we're about to measure our new fish building that's getting built. If you are like, what the heck are you talking about, new house? Yeah, look at this. This right here, we bought this. Last video. I'm not gonna explain all the plans and everything again. Go watch that video and then you can hop back to this one or watch this and then watch that. <sighs> this tape measure is broken, dude. Anyway, we're measuring. So, uh, yeah. Cam, what do you think, man? This is your first time here. It's crazy. Oh. A lot of land, man. A lot of projects. It's gonna be really fun. All right, Cam, you hold this side. Before I measure the fish building, let me tell you a little bit about today's video sponsor is making all of this possible. Today's video is sponsored by Ridge Wallets. Ain't no more bulky wallet. This thing is slim. I love how slim these are. You could just literally slip them right in your pocket and look. It ain't going nowhere. Now another thing I love about Ridge is it's super easy to get your cards out. You push that right there, all your cards come right out. Now if you wanna put them back in, same thing. Whoop, just like that. Very sharp looking wallets. Now until December 7th, which is tomorrow, you can get 15% off. After that it's 10% using code Paul Cafaro for both the 15 and the 10% discounts. You're gonna save more money if you just get it now. 15% off using code Paul Cafaro. The links are down below. And these are just extremely durable wallets. When I mean durable, I mean, <sighs> Hey, you want to destroy this wallet, or at least attempt? What is this, man? Ridge wallet. Oh my gosh, Hector, what are you doing with that? Look at that, pristine. You can also have up to 12 cards in these things. You might even squeeze a couple extra. They hold a lot of cards. And they even have a money clip on the back so you can put some cash there. Over 30 different styles to choose from, 40,000 plus of five star reviews. And guess what? That durable material also comes with lifetime warranty, meaning if you break it, you send it back and you get a new one. Now use my code Paul Cafaro, like I said, to get 15% off Ridge Wallets. Thank you again so much for sponsoring today's video. Without further ado, enjoy this absolute banger. I saw so many comments last video. Paul complaining about a little chihuahua, but yet has a goose named Gary going over to the house here in a couple weeks. I actually spoke to my neighbor behind me here and the one to the right of me that has the little chihuahua that both super cool people. I just haven't met this neighbor here yet, but yeah, I'm definitely not gonna have a problem with this guy over here. He's so cool and he's pretty dope too, so I think we'll be good guys. And literally Gary's the only thing that makes noise. That's a hound dog right there. <laughs> All right, so all these bricks right here, they all mark the corners of this building that we're building. One, two, three is all the way down there. And Cameron is at the other corner. So from me right here to Cameron, all the way over there is how big from side to side, as if you would measure a TV from corner to corner, how big this building is. If you want it, the exact measurements, it is 50 feet long, 50 feet long, 28 feet wide, and then nine feet high. So it's big. It's to be exact, 1,400 square feet, 1,400 square feet. It is uh, very long, all the way down to there. So that will take up a lot of this back portion, all of this back portion actually, and the enclosures will be off to the sides of the building. Picture a big building right here. There's actually four windows on the front of the building with a door in the middle and then a door in the back or on the side. I haven't picked exactly where I want it yet. But yeah, I already put my deposit in. This is happening. No, 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 but he was literally just getting to the other side. Damn, it's a big ass otter. That's fresh too, man. That is like just happened any, any minute ago. We are on the way to the farm. We happen to come across my dream animal, man. My favorite animal on this earth, an otter. When you're driving on these roads, especially just keep your eyes open. You know, things are coming through. If I hit an otter, I'd seriously cry. Like I would cry my eyes out. Imagine I just hit an otter right now. <laughs> Woo! We are at the farm right now, feeding all the animals. Today's a vlog day. Y'all love the vlog days. It's kind of just a day you come along, you hang out with me. We do a daily routine and we get all caught up. <coughs> We have got so much to do and so much that's gonna go on in the next couple of weeks. We are here at the PC Farm and I'm actually currently 
I'm currently on the roof. It's crazy to see everything from up here. Look at all the fish. Big old catfish. Look at that platinum. Looks like that egret has been up here pooping on my roof. There they go. The fish also love this stuff. Watch all the catfish. Look at the little pigs. Look at the little pigs. Dude, they go through the fences. Thankfully, the outside fence like that leaves my property is the smaller mesh. So this right here, this is what the enclosures are made out of, so the little pigs go right through. You can see the last one's coming through right now. He just ran out, ready? Here it comes. But the outside fence, like I mentioned, has a small mesh, so they can't go anywhere. Get some pig food. I just restocked on all the food yesterday, so everything's nice and full. Yeah, I threw some uh, TNA hay out too. They turned one flake of TNA hay into a little bed. Yeah. Eat up my little piggies. Hey guys. Oh, okay. All right. Go there. Go there. Go there. Go there. How you doing? Time to feed the big. It's really nice in here. Look at that. They have hay. Own little bed space. Definitely taking these to the new farm. Although it's probably going to be a mission to move those. Those are like a thousand pounds. What? Mango. These pigs don't eat TNA. They're super strict. Like a lot of pigs, look at the grass. It's green as green. A lot of pigs destroy grass. These guys don't, they don't really care for anything other than this. Now you're probably wondering, where the heck is Suzanne? I know, the turkey. If you remember, a couple weeks ago, we actually had him in the cages that the three baby pigs are in now. He was recovering from a sickness. He couldn't even walk. He was all messed up. It was not from any predator attacking him. I called the vet. She didn't know what the heck was wrong with him either. Suzanne has been having issues. He recovered very slowly, and I was like, awesome. He's back to normal, right? The other morning, I'm feeding the farm. I'm like, where the heck is Suzanne? I just find him laying. Just laying, no feathers, no predator destroying, nothing. Just laying down, that is the unfortunate news. It's super unfortunate. Our royal palm turkey that we loved so much and had so much great memories with, Suzanne, has sadly passed away. RIP Suzanne in the comments. There's no other way for me to say it other than he was just sick. Kind of like the stories you hear of people too, like they're super sick, they get so much better and then all of a sudden, boom, it comes at them even harder. And I think that's what happened to Suzanne, but at the new place, I do want to replace Suzanne. Obviously, not gonna ever be the same Suzanne, but with some more uh, royal palm turkeys in remembrance of him. Missed that turkey already. But that's why he hasn't been in the videos. I didn't want to say anything because it was Thanksgiving, and I didn't want people thinking I literally killed my own turkey for, for dinner. <laughs> it's not the case, I promise. Looks like none of my pigs like hay because like a kind of a big part of a pig's diet is hay. We're just so used to getting spoiled with grain. Babies are just running around. They come back to, oh, there they are. The babies are back. Oh my God. <laughs> ah, They're so quick, dude. Look at them all run. <laughs> They're gone. It's green in the porch. It's green in the porch. Huh? Oh yeah. Also inside has been fully repainted, which is already done. They've been working on it all morning. The walls were like this yellow color and they're now this, looks really nice. Big TV, nice tables. Got this table today. Oh, and that table here. Matches the dog bowls. Hey Taylor. <laughs> My man over here has been painting, so has. He's another guy here somewhere. But yeah, all the rooms are completely repainted. As you can see, the whole house. Way better than what it looked like before, that's for sure. Oh, and we got patio stuff right there. This pond project is going to go down shortly. Shortly. Just picture a big old turtle koi pond. Who knows what will make it. Washer and dryer came as well. As well as, like I mentioned earlier, permits are already in for the big fish room in the back. What do you want to do? You just want to grab the island and scrunch it. Uh, whoever did design this house put the island like so far away. I'll run around the side. Ah! Ah, Hector! I'll show you the wall. Go in the side door. Oh yeah, looks good. Hey! <laughs> so that wall is green as an accent wall, which our bed will be backed up onto. This is just house stuff. I'm not sure if this is interesting to you, but I'll show you anyway. And I know everyone likes to see my man Hector work. This guy doesn't stop. So we got a screen in patio. That way we can get a nice outdoor seating, maybe a nice little TV out here, and you know, it looks good. Wait a second. 
My neighbor has got an F8 Ferrari in the driveway. Hey, I'm gonna go talk to my neighbor. No, I'm hungry. I'm gonna talk about some Ferraris. I'll be back hey, in a second, I'm all right? You. All right, sounds good. Dude, when did he get this thing? Look at that. Looky there, I was right. There she is, F8 Ferrari. If you didn't know, I like cars. Got Taylor's food and water bowl right there. You really are hungry, huh? One dozen of these little tiny goldfish. Just keep swimming. And we got our goldfish. Here we go, a dozen goldfish. <laughs> Look at this, it's insane. He's so fast. Oh my goodness. Zoom, zoom. Just There's one keep right there. Swimming. Just There's one right there. Swimming. Oh, the Oscar got it. Two, two. Oh, ho, 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 ho. is he gonna get it? Oh, ho, ho. and now he's got a big belly so he can keep growing. Sick land. There you go. Look how big the little babies are getting now. Dude, I have been sitting here for like at least 10 minutes. I scouted through the entire fish room. The eel is nowhere to be seen. I mean, quite literally nowhere to be seen. I looked everywhere. I looked through the entire pond. I looked through the entire fish room. I mean, I've been searching under all the cabinets. I mean, under everything. Behind the tanks. Nope. I don't see the fire eel. Like, literally think someone stole my fish. Like, I mean, why would they come in here and just steal a fire eel? It doesn't make sense to me. We got the gar, the platinum, all the catfish are hiding up in here. Peacock's right there. He ate today. I mean, the sand is pretty deep. Sheesh, I thought maybe he'd be in the sand, cause did someone really steal my fish? Oh my gosh. Little did Paul know his fire eel was not stolen, but fire eels do have a little secret. It's the next morning, and I hope to find something different here. There he is. He's right there, look at the eel. And he is now wrapped up, there's his head. Well, I knew it, because I thought I was going crazy for a minute. I ended up doing a little bit more research on the fire eel last night. I ended up finding out that they hide in sand. So, plenty of sand here, and that explains it all. That's crazy, he's just vibing right there. I could not find him for like an hour yesterday. His tail's sticking out. There's no way he was in there last night, because he could not, he can't look. You see his head or his tail, no matter which way he is. I searched through the entire thing, he must have had a little spot in the sand. We burrowed himself in, and he was invisible. So fellas, we have found out that, uh, yeah, no one did steal my fire eel. Although I thought, holy moly, that was scary. There is a lot more they probably would take other than a fire eel, that's for sure. Like Tiny, why wouldn't you get Tiny? This is way better than a fire eel, right Tiny? Regardless, thank you so much for watching today's video. I have been shipping out Pokemon stuff left and right, so if you guys want to get a PC pack, I think 80% of the site sold out, completely sold out. I'm not gonna say what order number got it, but there it goes. That card is in perfect condition, and it's worth $2,600 at a PSA 10. There's only a little bit of PC packs left. I mean, that's probably like, I mean, 80 packs. Only a couple 25th anniversary hollow packs. Every single card in here is hollow, as you can see. And a couple first edition packs as well are left. I mean, literally like six. I was just printing labels over here. I mean, you guys sold the heck out of them. So if you do want to get one, Go to the link in the description, and I'm shipping them like immediately. I mean, this person just purchased like a couple hours ago. It's already going out today. Look at you, little buddy. Look at you. Basking over there, and we got another guy basking over here. There's our soft shell with his head sticking out of the sand. He's one of my favorites down there. I dropped the sinking pellets right on his head, and he loves it. I'm happy we found the fire eel. No one, no one did steal it, although I did really, seriously, genuinely think someone did. And there's his head right there. And don't forget to check out Ridge Wallet down in the description down below. These are truly the most durable, the best wallets you could possibly get out there. The holiday sale's going, so get them while you can. Top link in the description. Fails. I'll see you in the next one. Peace! Sorry, Mom. Oh, it's her measuring tape. Is that Pam's measuring? Yeah. <laughs>